Good morning. Uh, I want to say thank you to uh, all of our guests that are here. I, I want to start by especially thanking uh, the incredible service of our brave firefighters, the men and women who answer the call every day to protect uh, our community. Um, I am really excited about being here uh, this morning to talk about a new initiative uh, that we're going to ask the City Council to endorse. Um, one of the most important things that a mayor needs to do on a daily basis is focus on increasing the quality of life of our residents, assuring that everything that we do uh, as a government does something to improve the lives of its citizens, whether it's uh, creating an economy that works for everybody, making sure that we have a educational system where our kids can grow up and be ready to be citizens of the world, or making sure that we have a health care system that provides for um, those that uh, need access to good high quality care. And in Santa Fe we're fortunate because we do have very good uh, health care providers in our community. Uh, but for all of that there are still people that fall through the safety nets and there are people that need assistance uh, on a daily basis. Government uh, serves its best purpose when uh, we can help those that, that um, are underserved that don't get access to the level of, of health care that's needed to improve their own quality of lives and that really need that, um, that assistance uh, on a continuous basis. And so today we're about launching a program that will address those issues. Uh, I am fortunate to be working with a city council that gets it, a council that uh, understands that through all of our policy we have to focus on uh, improving the quality of lives of individuals and I'd like to uh, thank the leadership of Councillor Chris Rivera, who as a former firefighter gets it, gets it better than anyone uh, on the City Council because he's actually lived the life of a firefighter, of a paramedic who's had to respond to multiple 911 calls and provide uh, high quality care to our residents. Uh, he is going to be taking the leadership on an initiative that we're calling the Community Protection Initiative. Uh, it's an initiative that will focus on leveraging the resources of our fire department to help that the, those that are most in need. I will say that this is also um, a, a very entrepreneurial program. Uh, one of the challenges that I tasked the city manager with and all of city government is to start thinking of innovative ways that we can leverage the resources of our infrastructure and our workforce to improve the quality of life of our residents. Um, when my father was a mayor of Santa Fe, back in the late 60s. Uh, Santa Fe was served by a volunteer fire department. That meant that whether people were in court or they were uh, out working in their small businesses, that when there was a fire, uh, they responded to the calls. Today we have 160 individuals who serve in our fire department, uh, largely in place to make sure that they protect our community from the threat of fire. Uh, but what's happened over the past several years is they've become a medical transport group. Uh, last year we've had over 10,000 calls to 911 uh, that our um, firefighters and paramedics responded to. So we know that there is a need. Uh, we are meeting that need, but we also know that we can enhance uh, the delivery of service um, based on what we know is happening in the community. 911 is the entryway into the healthcare. Uh, arena for many of our citizens in our community. So we have to have a workforce that's ready to respond to be something more than just a medical transport. So I also uh, not only want to thank Councilor Rivera, I want to thank um, uh, paramedic Andres Mercado, who is an individual who stepped up very passionately uh, and was very committed from the early days to uh, not only being an entrepreneur in looking at uh, how you put together a, a framework for this, but also taking that passion for delivering a high quality level of service to the community and building a program that can uh, actually address the needs of many of those who are falling through the safety net. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to ask Councillor Chris Rivera, who will be taking the lead uh, with several councillors in working this proposal through the City Council to come up and offer a few remarks.